the landing barges are stopped by concrete obstacles built far out in the water by the enemy. Offshore, the larger landing craft approach the beachhead slowly. Eyes, the troops prepare to land. The beach is still empty, and the crossfire of German guns still rakes the shore. Out of enemy firing range, the LSTs wait to move in until the beaches are cleared. The arrival of motorized equipment marks the end of the first phase of the landing. The LCIs, their first loads of men now on the beaches, go out to the transports to ferry more troops inshore. Still waiting beyond gun range, the LSTs unload supplies on smaller LCTs. Heavier equipment is transferred to giant rhino ferries, flat-bottomed barges that will land it ashore. And reinforcements arrive, thousands of men. Defeated and disarmed, the first German soldiers captured in France wait until someone has time to evacuate them. Out in the channel, the rescue boats of the Coast Guard are looking for survivors and aiding damaged vessels. Beach is firmly in Allied hands now, and the vast extent of the operation is visible. Silent evidence of the fierce battle is apparent everywhere.
But in a few days, many of the damaged ships will be afloat again. Now, more and more troops move inland to push the enemy back. And the LSTs land their cargoes on the beach. Barges built especially for the Normandy operations are left on the shore to be unloaded. During the daytime, there are only Allied planes in the air. But at night, German bombers harass the beachhead and drop mines offshore. Out of sunken block ships, artificial harbors have been built. Until a port is won from the enemy, these must handle all Allied shipping. Bad weather came after the fighting on the beaches was over. The heavy storm left a trail of damaged ships. Once again, the landing barges moved out into the channel, this time loaded with German prisoners. In England, prisoners board a Coast Guard transport. Ships which have carried thousands of American soldiers overseas now return westward with a different cargo, with men who were beaten and captured in Normandy. <laughs> 